This problem, we're going to simplify difference quotient of a quadratic function. And we're going to start by computing f of a. So I've rewritten f of x down below. Now I'm going to reorder it. I'm going to put this x squared term, the highest power term, in the front. Now it's plus a negative 7. Usually we just write minus 7, not plus negative 7. All right, so that's just f of x rewritten, no big deal. Now we're gonna plug in, this is for the first part, we're gonna plug in a, so wherever you see x is gonna become a, and that's all we get, 8a squared minus seven, and that appears right there. All right, part b is similar. We're gonna plug in a plus h, All right, what I did here mathematically is not correct because it, if you write it like this, it means you're multiplying just a by eight and you're just squaring the h. We need to square a plus h and multiply that by eight. So we wrap parentheses like this. This is f of a plus h. We will need to expand it to foil it out to simplify the difference quotient, but for part b, this is just fine. And you see that's exactly what they have there. So now what I'm going to do is FOIL a plus h out. And in order to do that, if you are good with FOILing and comfortable doing this, you don't need to write the square as multiply a plus h by itself. However, if you're not uh, confident in your algebra, totally reasonable to do what I'm doing here. So this is the step, step I'm saying that you are allowed to skip if you feel comfortable. So a times a is a squared. The outside is a h. The inside is a h. So there's two of them, a h plus a h. So that's two a h. h times h, h squared minus seven. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and distribute the eight across. 8a squared plus 16ah plus 8h squared and minus 7 is outside the parentheses. Okay, part c. Difference quotient is f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h. Now, f of a plus h is complicated. There's four terms. We just wrote them down. And because of that, I'm going to wrap each of these in their own parentheses. So f of a plus h, I'm just copying this line right here. 8a squared plus 16ah plus 8h squared minus 7 minus f of a, which is 8 a squared is at the very top of the screen. I'll scroll up a tiny bit. 8a squared minus 7. All of this is divided by h. And remember, to simplify the difference quotient, the h we need to cancel is the one in the denominator. We are not ready to cancel that h yet, but we are ready to cancel some things. Whenever you do a quadratic, all of the non-square terms, or I should say every term without an h should cancel out. So, negative 7. Here's another negative 7. Of course, negative 7 minus 7 is negative 14, but the second negative 7 is actually positive because we're subtracting a negative 7. So this is really negative 7 plus 7 cancels to 0. There's another term that cancels. 8a squared cancels. The second 8a squared is subtracted. So they cancel out, and we're left with 16ah plus 8h squared divided by h. Now it's tempting to cancel h's here, but remember in the numerator, the h's are being added together which uh, addition does not cancel division. Multiplication cancels division. 
So I need to rewrite the numerator, but write it as h times something. So both terms in the numerator have an h, so I can factor an h out. We're left with 16a plus 8 h to the first power divided by h. Now you can see it's h multiplied by this other thing divided by h. So because it's h times, we can now cancel the h's and we're left with just 16a plus 8h. And that should be the answer I'm about to uncover. And there are different forms, different ways to write it. Now, I, 8 times 2 is 16. Uh, you could have left the 8 factored out. I could have used this version. Uh, and just very carefully cancel things. And if I did that, uh, it would look like an 8 factored out, and it would be 2a plus h. That's also a correct version of uh, the simplified difference quotient. And so whatever one you want to go with is fine.